It's not a third health bar. Not good, not good. Nonsense. Double nonsense. I'm just gonna back this up. No, 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 no! I don't have any health, game. I can tell because the screen's going, hey, you're gonna die. Hello, team! It's time for some more Vindictus. Last time we, uh, fell down a hole. Essentially all that happened, really. We beat up a giant purple Ralph, and yeah. So Shilla and the Oracle fell into that hole. That's exactly what I said. What do you think we should do, Merrick? You completed Paradise Crossing, episode one, third disciple. Neat. Yo Cad reward box. Yo Cad. Open the reward box, or find it in my mail, and then open it. See if I can drop something of little use. Reward box! Portal box, kind of that. I mean, I don't really need that, but could be good. Plus magic powder, don't really need that. Orbs, orbs are good. Orbs are very important. And so it's got the claw. Okay, let's find what I can toss for those. Some copper ore, because it's pointless for me. That's pointless for me. So godly cloth and orb. Because those are very expensive. Like extremely so. This is the general storm and burbed. Talk to the ferryman and call him to travel to Burbed. Burb. Burb hey. Burb. 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 Probably just burb. Burb. Let's go to burb. Burb. Never heard of it. But there's a boat heading out that way. What? <laughs> It'll cost you 2,000 gold if you want to get on right away. I'll take you there right away. Ferryman? Are you. Are you suspicious? I think he's suspicious. He's being suspicious. Something about the way he said that. It's like, I don't know what that is. By the way, I can take you there if you pay me the money. What type of person are you? Now we're in this city. It's a new city, new land, new place. Let's go to the general store. There is no sign of life in the general store. A town? Underground? But where's the person who called us here? You hear chirping sounds coming from inside. Chirp. Some kind of weird furball just whizzed by. Knock that off. Stay! I said stay! She notices you standing in the doorway. Hey, what the heck are you doing in here? Get out! Someone shoves you out of the door. Who is that child? There she is again. The girl runs towards the inn. Maybe you should follow her. Yes, we found a child. Let's follow it. This is completely reasonable. I mean, given the actual context it is, but without the context... <laughs> voices are coming from the second floor. You lean closer to the door to hear it better. yo kite, huh? Must have been a hell of a fight. Impressive. I still don't like it. Me neither. Why should we trust them? What if they decide to turn their backs on us? We can't just put them out on the streets. All the roads are closed. There's nowhere for them to go. If they can handle Yochad, they can handle anything. Lorgash couldn't even do that. And why should we care if the roads are closed? If they betray us, no one's here to protect us. Sounds like their minds are made up. What do you think, Kulan? Hmm. Who? Me? Kulin, are you even listening? Are you talking about the guests in the inn? Are they sleeping here tonight? Uh, forget it. Jordan and I are against it. It's pretty much over now, right? If anything happens, I'll take full responsibility. But you have my word, nothing will go wrong. Sorry, but that's not enough. 
You barely know them yourself. I don't understand how you can trust them. You've already been tricked once before. Wait, is someone out there? The door swings open. You again? Didn't I tell you not to? Huh. Well, isn't this awkward? Well, since you're here, we might as well talk. Lots of talking happening. So much talking. An uber amount of talking. It seems we're not really welcome here. Ah, a new customer. Here, take this. Some kind of notebook. It looks brand new. That's a guest book. What's it for? Will you be staying here for the night? No, oh, sure. Ignore me. Well, fine. I'm tired anyway. Let's talk tomorrow. What are you gonna do, Macklin? Well, you are gonna get some rest, kiddo. We can talk more tomorrow. You sure? Of course I am. Your eyes are looking mighty heavy. Let's get some shut-eye and meet in the forge tomorrow. Okay. Jordan and Macklin leave. Forgive me. Everyone's a bit tense right now. And Kulin, thank you. He doesn't seem to care. Come find me when you wake up tomorrow. I'd like to talk to you in private. A night here will cost you... Hmm. I don't really care. Just pay what you can. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Don't forget to turn out the lights. Oh, what? Kulin disappears into the inn. Ooh, that was intense. Let's take a break. It's a good idea. You've been through a lot. Try and get some rest. You need to rest, too. Oh, you're right. I could use some rest myself. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Is that a no? No. But I thought you liked Lechard. Don't you? I'm sure he has his reasons for doing what he did. Lechard's different. I don't know why he's protecting them. Calm down. I trust Lechard. You should too. He's always been a good judge of character. But you just recently suggested that he was tricked. What if they help your little sister? Just trust him. You can't keep, just keep waiting around, can you? Wouldn't you feel better once your sister gets that potion? Do you think they overheard a lot? It's all gonna be okay. I just don't trust strangers, okay? But if it means helping Rima... There's a lot of story here. So much so that my team just kind of backed out on me. Get up. Kulin lets out a long yawn. So, what do you do? I'm a mercenary. What exactly does a mercenary do? You explain the basics about mercenaries to Kulin. Kulin. I suppose that's interesting, but I'd really like to know about the inns you stayed at on your adventures. Were they comfortable? Were the beds clean? And how were the owners? Hospitable? You don't want to, but you answer his questions. Why not? Why wouldn't I want to? The Oracle was the owner. We have no Oracles here. Only priests. I wonder if that's a Nemedian thing. Nemedian? I mean humans. Nemedians are a type of human, after all. Do they call the women Oracles and the men priests? Is she the same as him, then? Him? Honestly, who do you think I'm talking about? Who here is a priest? The Chog? Exactly. We can talk about this later. I'm leaving for now. So don't forget to lock up when you leave. How strange. Well, where should we go first? The forge or the temple? The temple. Okay, take care. You ready? Let's go. I'm ready. After we stop by the temple, I'm going straight to the forge from there. You can't be wandering around on your own. I'll come with you. And we really should stop by the forge first. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is that okay with you, Zorshila? Oh, okay. Good, let's go. <laughs> Guess we're going to the forge. You're here. Forgive me for not introducing myself yesterday. My name's Macklin. And this here is Jordan. Hey. I run the forge here. Well, I'm just the owner. Jordan does all the work. I spoke with Roma. And she said you can stay here if it helps her sister. She's really sick. They went searching for the potion materials, but they haven't come back yet. Think you can help them out? There's a lot of hostile formers out there. So be careful and make sure no one follows you back here. 
You should be able to get the potion from those weird dressed like priests. I'm counting on you. Um, I... wait here. Good idea. Keep the lady company, yeah, Jordan? Yeah. It'd be nice if there was someone around that we could see too. Go. Don't worry about her. I got this. Anyone who says, I got this, when it comes to like, watching over someone, kinda concerns me a bit. But I guess I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. But you got it. <laughs> oh no. I'm not doing that. Not yet. What's happening here? Where am I supposed to be? Uh, World of Pain. I don't, I don't see it there. Is there... Down here? World of Pain? World of Pain! There we are. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're in a world of pain. back and get the recordings for the start of Epidemus fight, I think, was his name. And I have to go and get the recording for Yo Chai. I plan to do that later, though. Not yet. And then from there, I gotta put the other one make a video. And then from there, with said video, I will, uh, do things. I'm drawing a blank. I gotta edit it together and start uploading. Man, I put a lot of time in uh, helping the other person. It's kind of disappointing they only stayed for like two battles. No, oh, well, at least it woke me up, so I'm able to speak better. Hey, look at all these enemies. Goblins. Just goblins. Oh, they're muskets. They're like musket axes. That's pretty cool. Kinda like that idea. And maybe uh, when the Junker Queen gets released, that'll be the person's weapon. Just in concept, that sounds cool. Although it would be more like a cannon. I don't know what you're doing, I don't like it. No one's gonna self-destruct. Get a dynamite in his hand. It's pretty obvious. Do you have a pinwheel in your helmet? Hmm. Well, I apparently don't need to kill you specifically, so... Uh, nope! Uh... So that was a thing that happened. Okay. I was killed by, uh... What do you call those? Optical illusions. That's a sucky way to die. Oh. Like right there, that little hole right there. Yeah, well. Apparently I don't have to worry about that. That was just very unfortunate. See, gravity kills. Oh wait, no, that was the last episode where I was talking about that. <laughs> like, there's definitely gravity in this game, so falling hurts. Honestly, I probably should have had to like fight Yochai or Yochad. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anyway, I probably should have had to fight him starting at half health at least, or something. I don't know. My little puppy's getting up. She looks very concerned. Probably because I'm speaking to myself. Can I kick you off the side? I, just, I really want to kick you off the side. Dang. Can I toss you off the side? Nope. There's just a wall there. 
That's disappointing, actually. I can go! Nope, no, wait, maybe. This place is really kind of cool. What's down there? If I jump down there, do I die? Oh! Oh, no, I can't jump down there, okay. Yes, I realized that my uh, thought process is not the best. Spooky scientist mage. I don't know why I said you're a scientist. You're not a scientist at all. Yes, you are. Are you wearing glasses? Is that automatically going on with this thing? Man? No, dang. I was gonna pick it up. Wait, there's a ladder here. It's a fake ladder, though. It's a real fake ladder. To loading. Hello! Doing your mess with guns. Based puzzle. I don't like you! <laughs> so they're starting to aim their guns at me. I'm just focusing on the puzzle. It wasn't much of a puzzle, but it was a puzzle. Sorry. So this bridge is most definitely going to collapse. So, my plan is this. He fell. So that tells me that this is probably the case. Did, no, it didn't reach. Oh, stop doing that. I'm not gonna fall for your trick. I know it's a trick. Fine, I'm gonna fall for your trick. Oh. Maybe it wasn't a trick. Well, I'm gonna full on Sparta you, if I can. Goodbye! What? Okay, now, what the plan? What? Oh, we're doing it again! Except from this angle. Okay. I don't know what gravity is anymore. Now I can step on that, right? Well, I was completely mistaken. That was not a booby trap. Even though it looked and screamed like it was. This is a fancy location. Ow. Did you just make them explode on me? It's been around you. Why are you still alive? There we go. Oh, purple. I'm dead. No, his eyes are sewn shut. Judge Jeremy up. Okay, I actually think this might be a fight. So. Got a fun fighting style. That is. Oh, cool. So some weird, interesting concepts. Nope. Ow. I actually exploded something. my health. Not great. I can't, uh, 
can't play with him. Up. Try to do mix ups on me. This isn't a fighting game, man. Oh, same you are kind of cool, though. Ended well. He has been judged. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm gonna do that. That's pretty sweet. That was a surprisingly long battle. I think I'm currently fighting enemies that are actually kind of difficult. Which is what I've wanted since I started Season 3, so... That's not horrible. Now I can bring this to... You people! You got it, yeah? This is perfect. I just have to add the juice and... What about Sienna? Oh, Lax. She should be rusted in the end now. You head there too, but do me a favor first. It's done. They take it to Roma for me. All right. It's unfinished though. I told you not to barge in like that. Wait, is that the potion? Hand it over, hurry. There should be plenty for now. Roma rushes back inside. All right, hold still. Here, drink this. Sounds like she's struggling. There we go. That's my little girl. Almost done. Err, don't call me your little girl. You're only ten minutes older than me. Just trust your older, smarter, prettier sister, okay? No, stop it. Now get over here and say hello. Roma comes out, followed by a girl who looks almost identical to her. Thank you so much for the help, Zorchilla. This is my little sister, Rema. Stop calling me your little sister. We're twins. Hey, Zershilla brought you the potion. You should so... Ah. You should so... You should show some manners. The reason why I failed that three times is because I was reading so show. But at the same time trying to say it as you should show. So I kept reading so. And, yeah. What about Gertrude and Logrotch? They're not back yet. Now, are you going to say thanks or not? Thank you. Forgive her, Zorchilla. She's not herself right now. So did you really come from the outside world? What's it like? Is the sky really blue? Is there a sun and a moon? Alright, alright, Rama. Why don't you head back inside? I still have to... Now. Hey. Uh, nothing. Uh... 
We're heading to the end now. You should come with us. Okay. The people are random. There's an expensive looking tea set on the table. We're back. I was starting to worry. Oh, Kulan. Wanted to have a cup of tea. So I brought some tea leaves with me. We were waiting for you so we could drink it together. Everyone sits down and starts drinking tea. It's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I really like it too. Looks like they've stopped fighting for now. That's why I never buy the cheap stuff. Good leaves make great tea. It's been a while since we ran out of tea leaves. Are you able to grow tea leaves here? No. Underground isn't really a suitable place for life. Um, so how exactly did you end up living underground like this? Because it's completely contaminated out there. I was surprised to hear that there are any survivors. They say there are more survivors near the northern border. I was surprised to see humans living on former territory, honestly. But you're all here too. Well, we had to cross the... Wait. You shake your head at Santa. I... I mean... I'm not too sure how we got here. I see. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks to you, I've learned a lot about Namidian culture. Yeah. We know next to nothing about the Namedians. I've never seen one before, right, Rema? Huh? I don't know. Hey, quit zoning out. Stop telling me what to do. Why, you little... Most of those godless beasts live underground, but thanks to them, we've had somewhere to hide. Your clothes are quite interesting. Is that what oracles wear? I wanted to be a priest, but I was told that I'm not cut out for it. That's why I was so surprised to see him. What do you mean, the Chod? Is he the first priest you've seen? Nonsense. My ancestors were a thousand times more honorable than any priest. But him, he's... Hey, Kulan. Don't we have the same ancestors? That doesn't matter. It's not common for one of our kind to become a priest. So? I don't mean to be unkind. I just cannot stand separatists. Kulan, just shut up. Kulan looks dejected. Hmm. If only you could hear more. Talk to Koopa. You've returned. Traveler shop, what do you got? Eh, just generic stuff. No Formorian based tools or anything like that. Guess I'll head to the temple. Whee! It's a cheap old temple. I just heard that you brought the potion to Rema. You really are a kind soul. You're curious about what a separatist is, correct? Separatists are people who discriminate between formers and Nemedians. It's not an uncommon word. People discriminate. That's life. By the way, did you say you came from the land of humans? No. That's a relief. That could have been a big problem. Unless you were a Nemedian, of course. It's only natural that we consider any human across our borders to be our enemies, including me. All humans must be exterminated. Their blood shall open the path to Eirin. Formers have sh a strict hierarchy. Ogres are at the top, and Namidians are at the bottom. That's why everyone is so shocked when I became a priest. So how did you know? That you're a real human? Sienna's clothes gave it away. My clothes? Ah! But no one seemed to notice. Usually no one can tell, but some of us notice. In this town, only Macklin and I are aware. Macklin isn't hostile towards humans, so it's okay. Anyway, the potion we have for Rimina is only a temporary fix. Two of us have gone to gather all the ingredients. We're almost out of the potion, and they're still not back. So please, will you help us find them? Alright. You, you will? Ah, uh, forgive me, I didn't expect you to say yes. Look, look, the child chuckles. Well... Let's all head to the forge. To the forge. I climb stairs really fast. Oh, that's not how physics work. This is weird. 
Will you help us? Of course. All right. Then Hagen is top priority. The scumbag is responsible for suffering of lots of people. He's out of his mind, likes to hang around corpses and dance about. But your best chance is with him. Best chance of what? Best chance of surviving. Didn't you hear me? He's a bloody lunatic. He tortures his prisoners for fun. You'll have to face him in his torture chamber. I imagine he won't be too inviting. So take this, cause in case he nicks you. Okay. You know, this is probably the first time, like, a character has given me like a. Uh, Something out of concern before I go into battle. Like, legitimately. Alright. Uh, let's continue. I mean, I, I say that, but. I, uh. Don't remember where to go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, gotcha. Here we go, the burning vice. His vice is burning. That sounds unfortunate. Isn't the vice like a, uh, like, isn't that something that girls wear? A vice? Well, they're slippery inside. Why are you so slippery? Slippery. Who even is? I can do this. I do like me some grabs. Oh, cool. Probably the best looking like random spear I've seen. Just keep doing this. Oh, you're the one responsible for this. Oh, jerk. Ow, double jerk. Ow, triple jerk. I didn't expect the third one. I barely expected the second. Oh, damn it. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, this time, let's not fall to my death. So, I swing from here. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. It's nice to know that I can... Do that. I am quite gullible, one would say. If you don't get it, it's literally my title. Ooh, danger. Let's just blow you away. Why? Because I can. It's a waste to just gather up infinite levels of uh, SP if I can't use infinite levels of SP. It'd be really useful if I could get like a uh, werewolf paw. That's a PvP. And it's a ridiculous amount of PvP for an item. Yep, she's ridiculous. Nice damage. Or dragon stamina. That everyone? Yeah? No, that's the wrong way. Go this way. That's what the map says. Or what I can read of the map. Now where am I? Spooky! And kind of gross. You explode! been here before. I think. Uh, maybe not. Oh! No. That was kind of a pointless trap. To be honest. I both didn't expect it and nothing came of it. 
There's a door. Let's go inside. No. I can't go inside their houses and ruin their stuff. It's kind of a shame, really. You could do it in uh, a kneel. Back when those are a thing. You know, the, the vampires. They kind of look like skeletons. How convenient. Oh, this looks like bad news. Look at all this fire. That's just mean. I would like to help you out. Can I just walk in this? No. Oh, wait. Do I have to... I'm gonna try to go this way. No, nope, I think I have to kill them. Well, I'm sorry. Forehand. Thank you for your service. Sure, I understand. Can you play? That was neat. It was... Oh, okay, I got it. You want me to swing some more? I was thinking it was like some sort of crazy thing. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, it's just the house. No, wait. No! I'm in the wrong one! This was a mistake! Can I go over to the other one? Dang it! Oh wait, never mind. I have to go through anyway. That one only has an opening on one side, but this has an opening on both. So from here, I just wait until I come back and then get on that. I got it. I got it. I get what you're trying to do for me. Could I like try to pry them back up? I really do feel bad for that. Um, F. Whee! If I do. Apparently the door isn't ready to be broken open. Oh, there's a boss. That's probably why. Let's go, uh... Hudless. Ow, jerk. So apparently standing in the lava doesn't work. Or it does and I'm not seeing it. It's in the my fire. Ow. What's that like? Okay. He doesn't seem to hurt that much. <clears throat> Come on, you pansy. You know, so like, is he sentient or is he like being controlled by this infection? What is exactly happening? Jerk. Okay, I might actually hurt him now. Nope, he's just very not painful. Although if I keep letting him stack me, then I might stack up after a while. Oh, I don't have the 
that out from the dragon fire. Ow. What should that do? Nothing. This is a really cool fight, I'll admit. There's a lot of good scenes in this uh, season. Like, battle scene. <laughs> what do we call that? Oh crap! Or not. I think we both missed each other, which is more fantastic than it needs to be. Yeah, we did. Oh, or I just didn't have enough stamina in general. Okay. How you doing? Hit him somehow. Oh, he died. Yeah. A gun and nile. It's so light. I just don't know if he's sentient. Or if he's just ominously working with this uh, weird infection. Oh hey, look, you can see his face. Oh, so he's a god. I mean, yeah, he's a god. He's got like blonde hair. Oh, yeah. hmm. Alright, well, I didn't actually know if I could see his face. It's actually kind of interesting. I assume that they would have made him without it. Or maybe he's just like one of the previous goblin models painted a different color. Gertrude? I killed her. And what I spite it was. She barely put up a fight. Oh, the way she squirmed. Yeah, absolutely demented. Spot something. It's a fresh trail of blood. Lots of blood. Gertrude! Okay, let's hope my internal clock is right and it's been 30 minutes. Or 40 minutes, I don't really know. I'm trying to make some quick ones. Like, low time episodes. So that I can catch up after I deleted all the, you know, hard drive data and all that. Or not the hard drive data, but videos that had been clogging my hard drive. I.e. every video except for the ones that I just made today. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, it'd be pretty swell if you'd comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Seriously, it'd be great. Thank you for watching. I think that's about it. Good night, friends!